Well, friends, let's see, it's the, what's the date? My phone says it's the 27th, so broke down Tuesday, I guess. Sitting here and on Highway 12, just outside of Elma. Took a load to Aberdeen today, and uh, I went to start the truck, or I went... SPI and uh, started the truck after uh, sitting for a minute in line and it went, you know, I moved the key over and nothing. What the heck? I thought, well, maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't, you know, go all the way over to the, to the right. You know, maybe I didn't make good contact in the switch. Did it again, fired right up. But it, but I did notice when I did that, that amps or the volts dropped, you know, quite a bit. And I thought, huh. So then I was, got me paranoid. So I've been watching the voltmeter. And uh, I look, I've been driving and I'm on Highway 12 and I look and my voltmeter dropped down to about 12 volts and it's usually right there about 13.2, 13.4. And uh, so I thought, well, I should, I, should, I should see what's going on. Maybe I got a loose, you know, low voltage or something, loose, loose uh, alternator belt, something like that. And just as I start to get off the road and pull over, I hear this just god awful, you know, like belt slipping big time, and I thought, ah, that's what it is. So I pull over, pop the hood, shut it off, pop the hood, check my belts, they're all tight. Right, what the heck? And so I touch the alternator, it's warm, not overly hot, not cold like it ain't working, it's nice and warm. And I'm like, okay. And so I grab the belts and I move them, you know, make sure I don't have any stuck pulleys or nothing that's sque and everything. Everything's nice, and you can see everything move in, and so, okay. So I get back in the truck, thought, well, maybe I'll get off the side of the road here and uh, do a little bit further investigate and go to start. Nothing. The starter spins over, zzz, you know, and I, and I take it off the start position, and it still keeps doing it, and I, so I shut it off. I did that two or three times, and I kind of realized... All right, so the solenoid's not engaging, but it's spinning over. I bet you I fried a starter, and I don't know if it shorted out in there or something and made the alternator work extra hard. I'm not exactly sure yet, but I called the shop. They had me cut the belts. I gave them the part numbers. They have it all in stock because it's a 3406B, and they're just dime a dozen for parts for them, so they already had a whole shelf of them. Even though this is the only 3406 in our fleet, they had a whole bunch, which was cool. And I called him. He's like, oh, yeah, we got a lot of them. Anyways, so I put my hand on the starter. It was hot. I told him that. I'd get out and show you guys all the things. Actually, I will. I got two hours till they get here, so. Ugh. I shut the batteries off. But you see I cut all the belts off. Just like he said, even though I told him that it didn't need it. But he did say that, I mean, I guess the tensioners on these are notorious for going out. So, I I mean, I told him that the tensioner is in good shape, but he wanted me to do it anyway, so I did. But you can see a little bit of, like, heat distortion on the alternator here on this cover. But it was warm. It wasn't hot. It was nice and warm, and nothing was hot. So I imagine that's just from, you know, just years but the clutch, or the AC clutch, you know, everything was smooth. Nothing was locked up. So, you know, just is what it is. But I'm not exactly sure. I have to think about it, but I'm not exactly sure if the starter went out, why the alternator would start, if it was, the, maybe, maybe it was a bang, maybe the starter was hung up, I guess, and maybe it was a, I don't know, maybe the starter had a bearing in there locked up. I don't know. I I don't quite know. I mean, it sounded just like a freaking, uh, you know, belt on the, you know, alternator belt or something, but I don't know. So here I am, Highway 12, just outside of Elma. My first time being broke down in a log truck. Sure is a nice looking truck though. Man. I'd love to have a T800. 
I absolutely love to have a 200. One thing I can say about Chilton is, I mean, they are always up on taking care of me. I mean, I write something up as simple as these. My little glad hand rubbers. I'll write them up as they need replacing. They replace those suckers for me. They don't make me do it. I mean, I have no problem doing any of it. You know, if that was in the job description, I'd do it. But, but they they do it all. I, if I write up, think I got an air leak, or they'll pull it into that shop that night and check the whole thing out. Even if it's not a big, I mean, they they're awesome. Chilton logging is. In my opinion, one of the best outfits around. No offense to you other guys. I mean, even myself, I want to go into business for myself, and you guys know that, but... I mean, the reality of it is, is as far as outfits go, if you want to be working for an outfit, Shilton is one of the best. So, anyways, I called him to the shop. Called him, and actually, I didn't have... I had a paper that had all the contact info on it. I lost it. I don't know what I did with it. So I had to call the owner. He had to call the shop guys and they called me. But, um, you know, then they talked to me and they're nice. I mean, they don't know that I know anything about mechanics at all. So they, you know, kind of talked to me like I was dumb, but that was a little frustrating, but it, it is what it is. So. But, yeah, this is what's latest and greatest with me today. So, anyways, just uh, thought I'd post a video. Thought you guys would get a kick out of it. I'm sure most of you guys have been there, done that. And uh, I got nothing better to do for two hours, so an hour and a half at least. So... Talk to you guys later. Hope your day's going better than mine. See you later.